Hello and welcome to Gematics Engineering for you. I'm your host Vaibhav Sonkar. I have secured All India Rank 1 in Gate Gematics Engineering 2024. I have created this YouTube channel to help and share my experiences with fellow students who are preparing for Gate Gematics Engineering. In this video, I would like to discuss about the syllabus of Gate Gematics Engineering. To prepare for gate gematics engineering, we first need to prepare for general aptitude. So the syllabus of general aptitude is right here. You can see uh, the uh, the topics that general aptitude covers is verbal aptitude, which covers your English part, covers basic English grammar, includes tenses, articles, adjectives, prepositions, and uh, conjunctions, verb noun agreement. Then we have basic vocabulary, which includes words, idioms, phrases. Then the next part is quantitative aptitude. And this section covers your data interpretation, uh, data graphs uh, like bar graphs, pie charts, the 2D, 3D plots, maps, tables. So all the part of data interpretation is covered. Then we have numerical computation and estimation, which includes ratios, percentages, powers, exponents, and logarithms. Then we have permutation and combination, and uh, series, mensuration, geometry, and elementary statistics and probability. Then the third section under general aptitude is analytical aptitude. It covers the logical reasoning part. So in logic, we have deduction, induction, analogy, numerical relations, and reasoning. Then the fourth, and it is a relatively newer topic under general aptitude in GATE. It is a special aptitude. It covers transformation of shapes, which includes translation, rotation, scaling, mirroring, assembling, and grouping. Then you have paper cutting, folding, and patterns in two and three dimensions. And uh, then after the general aptitude, the main syllabus of gematics engineering is right here. So the gematics engineering exam, our K gematics engineering exam is divided into two sections, part A and part B. So part A is common and it is necessary for all the candidates to attempt part A, which covers engineering mathematics and the basic concepts under gematics. So part A includes topics like engineering mathematics, which includes surveying measurements, accuracy, precision, most probable value. These are the easy topics. Then you have errors and their adjustments. Regression analysis, correlation coefficient, least square adjustment, statistical significant value, and chi square test. Then the next topic is remote sensing. And uh, this remote sensing, under the, under the remote sensing, we have uh, the basic concepts like electromagnetic spectrum, spectral signature, uh, different different types of resolutions, uh, spectral resolution, spatial, temporal, and radiometric resolutions. Then uh, uh, we have platforms and sensors. Then we have remote sensing data products, which includes pan, multispectral, microwave, thermal, hypospectral, remote sensing images. And lastly, under remote sensing, we have visual and digital interpretation methods. Then the next topic under part A is GNSS global navigation satellite systems and under GNSS we have to study the principle used and the different components of GNSS data collection methods DGPS differential GPS errors in observation and corrections and finally the fourth topic is GIS geographic information system in this topic we have to cover um, the introduction data sources data models and data structures, algorithms, database management systems, creation of databases, special and non-special, and then special analysis. 
which includes interpolation, buffer, overlay, terrain analysis, then finally modeling and network analysis. Now, after uh, once our part A is complete, now we move to part B. So now in part B, you can either attempt section one or section two from part B. So I attempted section one surveying and mapping. It is a relatively easier part because uh, in detail you get to study all these topics maps land surveying and aerial photogrammetry in detail so in section one the topics are first maps in maps we have importance of maps to engineering projects then types of maps scales and uses plotting accuracy of maps map sheet numbering coordinate systems different map projections and different maps datums like mean sea level geoid spheroid wgs 84 then the next topic is land surveying so in land surveying we have to cover various levels leveling methods compass theodolite total station tachometer trigonometric leveling traversing triangulation and trilateration and finally the third topic is aerial photogrammetry in aerial photogrammetry we have to cover types of photographs flying height and scale relief dis relief displacement stereoscopy 3d modeling height determination using parallax bar and digital elevation model dem and slope in section 2 of part b we have data quantization and processing which includes sampling and quantization theory principle of linear system convolution continuous and discrete fourier transform next topic is digital image processing digital image processing includes uh, image characteristics histogram scattergram and their significance variance covariance covariance matrix correlation matrix and their significance third topic is radiometric and geometric corrections which includes registration and resampling techniques then we have image enhancement which covers contrast enhancement linear it has not linear and non linear methods special enhancements and uh, noise special filters then you have image transformation the topics under this are principal component analysis discrement analysis color transformations and indices and the final topic under part b section 2 is segmentation and classification so you can either choose section 1 or section 2 from part b our part a consists of 36 questions and general aptitude consists of uh, 10 questions and uh, our part b consists of 19 questions overall Part A, you need to prepare really, really well as uh, 36 questions are being asked from Part A only. So this was the syllabus of Gate Geomatics Engineering. If you want to prepare for Gate Geomatics Engineering, you can follow this channel. I will be uploading videos related to Gate preparation for Geomatics Engineering on this YouTube channel. You can give this video a big thumbs up and uh, subscribe this channel. And if you have any doubt, you can comment it down below and let me know. See you in the next one.